A trio of Thanksgiving football action will start with the Minnesota Vikings visiting the Detroit Lions in an NFC North battle for first place on Thursday, November 24th in Week 12 NFL action. Both teams are sitting at 6-4 with six games left to go, and Detroit has the head-to-head -head tiebreaker. The Lions have managed to win three straight Thanksgiving games after losing nine straight from 2004 to 2012. They are about a field goal favorite with the numbers sitting on minus two and a half. The Minnesota Vikings started the year 5-0, defying pundits who said the season was over when Teddy Bridgewater suffered a gruesome leg injury and when Adrian Peterson was lost for the season. They had an October 16th bye week and then lost four straight games coming out of that before winning last week over Arizona. The Minnesota Vikings are 6-4 straight up and 6-4 and against the spread. Minnesota is 2-1 straight up and against the spread as an underdog. The team has gone 4-6 on the over-under. It's very clear that things are going to be different offensively with Pat Shermer running the show. Norv Turner abruptly resigned and left the Vikings high and dry with a bad offensive line and a myriad of offensive woes at the skill positions. Last week's win over Arizona was the first time in which Sam Bradford has thrown fewer than 37 passes since the October 9th win over the Texans. The game plan is for a lot of short throws with Bradford, so moving down the field goes pretty slow. The Vikings scored 30 points in the win over Arizona though, but 14 came via pick six and a kick return touchdown. The Vikings had 217 total yards and are now tied for last in the NFL with 4.7 yards per play. Mike Zimmer's defense is still doing admirable work and the performance gets more and more impressive each week. The Vikings have allowed just 4.8 yards per play, which is tied with Denver for the second best mark in the NFL. Minnesota's 20 takeaways trail only the Kansas City Chiefs, who had eight in one game earlier this season. It will be the Minnesota secondary that gets tested this week against Matthew Stafford and the Lions' aerial assault. The Vikings have allowed a completion percentage of just 57.9% this season, which ranks third in the league. Their 26 sacks rank in the top 10, and so does their mark of 10.7 yards allowed per catch. In the overtime loss to the Lions earlier this month, the Vikings held Detroit to five yards per play and just 214 passing yards. The Detroit Lions are also six and four straight up, but five, four and one against the number. Detroit beat Minnesota on November 6th, heading into the bye week, and then beat Jacksonville 26 to 19 this past Sunday. But it certainly was not pretty. The Lions are 2-2 two two as a favorite this season and 1-2-1 one one against the number. The Lions will have to make some adjustments as they were very fortunate to win the game in Minneapolis earlier this month. One of Matthew Stafford's worst games of the season was the performance against the Vikings. He was 23 of 36 for 219 yards, two touchdowns and a pick. The Lions have no semblance of a running game, so it all falls on Stafford who has completed nearly 68% of his throws with an 18 to five touchdown interception ratio. Marvin Jones is averaging almost 18 yards per catch and he has some good possession options in Golden Tate and Eric Ebron. The Lions have only managed 5.6 yards per play, which ranks near the league average, but they have only turned the ball over eight times this season. Defensively, the Lions are starting to get a little bit healthier but we'll have to see what, if anything, the short week does to their injury situations. Detroit is allowed 5.8 yards per play, and they have had their issues stopping the run with 4.2 yards per carry allowed. But Minnesota isn't in a position to put up a big performance on this defense. The Lions have given up a 73% completion rate, which ranks last by a large margin in the NFL. But they have limited big plays with just 10.4 yards per catch allowed. Overall, it looks like this will be more of a methodical game for these two teams, and it's fair to wonder whether or not that favors one side or the other. If you catch a plus three with reasonable juice, that might be the side to take. Both teams are coming off a lackluster performance as the Lions and Vikings needed defensive and or special teams big plays to win their games in week 11. After opening at a pick -em at home against a bad Arizona team, the Vikings are short of a field goal here in this one which seems like a little bit of a lack of respect for the Lions. The stronger play is probably the under with this unique start time on a short week, but low scoring games also lean towards taking the points. Our pick and prediction, 
are for the Minnesota Vikings at plus three and under the total of 43 points.